Okay, good morning everyone. In this occasion, we're going to build a trading robot using a MACD, MACD divergence indicator in FX Dreamer. Uh, to start, always click this on tick. The others, they don't work, or for our purpose, it uh, doesn't work. <clears throat> the first thing that we're going to check if we have trades going on. So we need to check if we have trades going on with this option, no trade. That means there's no trading going on. Okay. Second is the condition. The condition is the indicator that we're going to use for the robot. Click here and connect the dots. If this condition is true, then the second condition yeah. runs. So double click in the second condition. Shows the indicator for this purpose. We're gonna hold, um, use the MACD, and we're going to use it with the same MACD. We're going to build just a buying robot right now with the MACD. Um, let's leave the numbers as they come 12 26 and 9 but um we're gonna choose when the main line of the macd cross over cross above the signal line and hit update <clears throat> our second condition third st step in the robot is going to be a candle let's use when the second candle is above the MACD main line then with these two conditions are true then we're going to put a buy a buy for this we're gonna use a fixed volume but let's click here so after when we're testing the robot, we can change the parameters. For this, I'm going to put zero stop loss. I'm gonna put 10 take profit. And to close the trade, if the trade goes against us, we're going to check the trading and we're gonna use this step here and then we're gonna use one condition and then we're going to close close trade here here look these three doesn't have to be connected to these three these are blocks. These two blocks runs independently. So after the buy is put, then this block start running. And it will check if the condition number six, that is the MACD, 
main line crossing below the signal line of the MACD itself. If that condition is true, then the trade will be closed. Now, I will go and save this. And we're going to change the name to Mac D E A. And we're going to test this in different time periods 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, and maybe four hours. Okay. I'm going to save this in my desktop so I can find it right away. And now I'm going to open my MT4. For this MT4, I use Oanda because that's where I, I have the my account. But right now I'm using a demo account to test <coughs> robots. I'm going to look for the data folder. The data folder. Open MQL4 expert. I'm going to delete the robots. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it because those robots. Actually, I'm gonna leave it there because I was doing something with one of those robots and it worked pretty good. So I'm gonna continue working in one of those robots. So I'm not gonna delete it. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to put the MACD EA, the one that we just made, into the data folders for the experts. I'm going to close and then I'm going to close the MT4 and go going to open again the MT4. Let's wait for the MT4 to open. Okay, so we have our MT4 open. We're gonna choose the pair that we want to test. For this, we're going to use the Euro USD 50 minutes chart. Let's take out the grid. And um, uh, we're gonna right click. We don't have the EA yet in the chart, so let's put the MACD EA. Um, let's hit OK, and then right click Expert Advisor Strategy Tester. Okay, now we have our MACD EA to test visual mode, and I'm gonna put it in 31. And I'm going to check the properties of the expert, I'm going to put an initial deposit of $1,000. The inputs, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to increase the volume size 0.4. So your P value will be around uh, $1. Take profit, I'm going to put the take profit in um, 5. Hit OK. And let's start with the test. The robot is working as I expected. Let's put it more faster. So, wow. I see. Wow. I have some losses. And some wins. Uh, as you can see, the MACD works really good. But um, we can um, adjust this to uh, make it profitable. Let's go and run it into a 30 minutes chart. Start again. Mm. 
and there we go. Better results in the 30 minutes charts so far. MACD works better. See the graphic there? Okay. So, as I said, we need to you know, tweak these numbers and make it profitable. Maybe add another indicator. In this case, I think a sell option would uh, work better than the buy. Let's try now with one hour time period. Let's how let's see how the MACD works and see if it's more efficient. Remember, it's just not just changing the time period. You also can change the stop, loss, and the profit take. So you can do better in the settings and be more profitable for this robot. Okay. It work as I expected. And this is how we build a robot using the MACD conversion intervention. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.